how do we know when a given radical is already in its simplified form or not? There are three tests, and these are the three tests. Let's begin discussing the first one. No radicands have perfect nth factor other than one. For example, if you have the square root of 16, this is not yet in its simplest form because there are still perfect nth factor. Notice that 16 can be written as 4 squared. And so, you now have here a case when you have the index and the exponent are the same, which is exactly the form of the perfect nth factor form. Therefore, this can still be simplified as the base a. In this case, our a is 4. So the simplified form of square root of 16 is 4. Another example, let's say we have the cube root of 16. Again, we can write 16 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Since the index here is 3, and there are 3 2's here, that can be written as 2 to the third times the remaining factor. Then applying now the product property of radical, we can now write this as two factors. The cube root of two cubed times the cube root of two. And again, you have here a perfect nth factor, which is simplified as the base two, and just copy the cube root of two. This is our simplified form, and this is the form that will help you easily add or subtract radical expressions. And so think of this as your prerequisite in order to perform addition and subtractions of radicals. Next example, let's say we have the square root of 400 m squared n cubed, what is its simplest form? 400 is a big number, so let's get its prime factorization. So 400 is 2 times 200, 200 is 2 times 100, 100 is 2 times 50, 50 is 2 times 25, and 5 is 5 times 5. So the prime factors are 2 to the fourth and 5 squared, and we copy the m squared. This n cubed, we split as n squared times n or n to the first. What's the reason? Take note that the index of the radical here is 2. So we want all these exponents of the numbers in the radicand to be divisible by the index of the radical. Since 3 is not divisible by 2, we split this as exponent 2 and exponent 1 because this n squared has an exponent that is divisible by 2. So to simplify this, we apply the product property so we can write this as 5 separate radicals, each one corresponding to each of the factors in the radicand.